There it is, it's clucking. What's going on guys? And welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. So today's video is actually pretty fun. My friends from Listerine sent me this really cool little care package to celebrate how far I've come as a creator. Here it is. So it says Listerine Bold Refresh. I wonder if there's a letter or something in here. To oh, that's clever. The letter's in here. Hey Kevin, congrats on making it to your fourth year on YouTube. Dang, four years, I'm getting old y'all. At Listerine, we're all about celebrating the people that put themselves out there and take a chance at changing the game. You, friend, are a total inspiration. I appreciate that, y'all. That's real nice. So now that you vlog like a boss, <laughs> we'd love to see how you take one of your very first videos to the next level by giving it a bold refresh. We know you're up for it and ideas are probably already racing through your head, but here's some swag to get you started from your inaugural year, of course. Go forth and be bold. <laughs> That's pretty dope. And it says, barbecue socks, fire it up, meathead, you the man. Anyone that knows me um, knows that I love um, kicks and funky socks. So these are pretty nice and dope. Ah, and they sent me these. Now I understand why. And a timer. I don't even have one of these. Is he gonna cock a little do or something? and then a brush. So when they pitched the idea to me, I said, you know what would be really cool is if I go back and look at one of my very first popular recipes in social media, not just on YouTube, but just in general, and it was barbecue chicken wrapped asparagus. All right, here we go. Oh, this is me, Kevin, with Fit Man Cook. And one question that I always get is, <laughs> Kev, how can I ensure that I stay on my diet all week long? Well, the answer is meal prep. Meal prep is what you do whenever you cook all your meals on one day of the week and you freeze them all and then you unfreeze them throughout the week as you need them. So today I'm going to show you a really easy way to make some barbecue chicken wrapped asparagus. Grab a pity and find out what you need. Today I'm going to be using this Rubbermaid Tupperware because it's BPA free and it also has these two removable inside containers to help separate your food. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I got to pause it right there. This <laughs> First off, I didn't know what Zoom was, so I only had just this one DSLR camera with this lens, and so I didn't know how to focus. And I remember having to put up a broomstick with a hat, focus it, and then run around again to where it was. And so it was right up in my face because, hey, if it's focused right now, that's all I have. And I couldn't watch myself either, so I had to make sure that it was right. I did not like being in front of the camera at this point. It was really uncomfortable for me. I, I enjoyed it more and more, but I remember at this time how embarrassed I was. I didn't know how to film myself cooking live. I actually tried to film a video live once. It was so terrible that I just said, you know what, let's just take out the sound and then just put in some really cool music. So, I did that and people really liked the fact that the focus was always on the food. So it was a really accidental thing to actually happen. And it stuck. It stuck today. And meal prep is still relevant. It's really cool to watch this and think about where I am now because I'm writing a book about meal prep. I'm actually pretty proud of myself with this. <laughs> So today we are going to be making a bold raspberry chipotle barbecue sauce from scratch. Then we're gonna put that onto some chicken, wrap that around some asparagus, and then toss it on the grill. Yes, this is an official barbecue recipe because we're gonna fire up the grill today. Ha! There it is, it's clucking. <laughs> Let's get started, guys. <laughs> now the star of this barbecue sauce are these beautiful Texas-sized raspberries. Another taste of Texas is the chipotle. So we've got some chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. To round off the ingredients, we've got some olive oil, garlic, red onion, we've got some cumin. This is Worcestershire sauce, some liquid smoke, some coconut sugar, apple cider vinegar, and this is arrowroot starch. Arrowroot starch is gonna act as a thickener. And then of course, you'll need some chicken and some beautiful asparagus. All right guys, first thing we're gonna do to a hot skillet, we're gonna add in our olive oil. We're gonna add in some garlic. Now we do want the skillet hot, but you don't want the garlic to burn. And then some red onion. And what we're doing here is just to flavor the oil, we're also going to caramelize the red onion. All right, so this is just about ready. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add in the cumin here, and this is gonna become very, very fragrant. So I'm gonna bloom the spices right now by cooking it with the onions 
and the garlic and the oil. Now we're gonna add in the star of this dish, our beautiful Texas sized raspberries. And you don't have to do too much here because the heat, what's gonna happen to them, it's going to cause them to soften and begin to explode. Let's add in some liquid smoke, Worcestershire, our apple cider vinegar, coconut sugar. Now here is the most important part. This is adding in the chipotle. Now chipotle tends to be very spicy. I like to add in about three tablespoons or so. Take one of the chipotle peppers and just put it inside of the sauce. All right, now for the final ingredient. Now you can tell from the texture of this that it's already pretty thick. This is gonna make it even thicker. So this is arrowroot starch. We're gonna add about a tablespoon and stir it up immediately. And arrowroot starch is activated under heat. So as soon as it touches something that's hot, then it begins to act as a thickening agent. So I love the fact that this raspberry sauce has a lot of texture. I've got the seeds from the raspberry. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is prep the chicken. I'm gonna pat them dry. These are pretty thick pieces of chicken breast, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice them in half because they're easier to roll up and to wrap around the asparagus. Lightly pound them a little bit to flatten them out. Then the final step here is we're gonna lightly season these with a little bit of pepper. Now it's time to marinate our chicken breast. This is a step that I did not do in the first video, which is to marinate the chicken breast. So just add in the chicken breast and our little chicken chunks. And we'll add, we'll add a tablespoon or two of the sauce. Get some in there. That's enough. Get out all of the air from the bag. We're gonna marinate this in the fridge. You can marinate this overnight, but at least do it for one hour. So the chicken has been marinating, so we'll take one chicken breast, add about three or four pieces of asparagus. I like to start at the, at the big side because I want the skinnier side to be able to flap over. So we got one final step before these bad boys are ready to go on the grill. It is completely optional, but it is recommended. And that is, since these are gonna be on the grill, we wanna cover the tips of the asparagus and foil, so that way they won't burn. Don't burn a tip. <laughs> so these are officially grill ready. These can cook for about 15 minutes at a temperature of around 300 degrees. So we're gonna cook them first with the flap side down, so that way they are sealed cook that for about eight minutes, then we're gonna flip them over, we're gonna baste them, and cook them for another eight minutes. Just make sure that they are completely cooked. All right, that is it for today's video, guys. I hope that you all enjoyed it. I wanna first thank my friends over at Listerine for the idea to do a recipe refresh. Oftentimes we have tunnel vision because we are really focused on our goal and that's the only thing that we can see at the moment. And we don't take time, oftentimes, to stop and to celebrate the incremental success along the way. So whether that's putting up an old picture of yourself and looking at that, putting on some old clothes, just whatever it is, I want you to do that. Make this recipe because you are going to love it. Now until next time, I want to thank y'all for watching. Keep it healthy, but of course what? Never ever boring. Boom! <laughs> Bye.